my name is Luis DeRosa again. Thank you for being with us today at the Puerto Rican Summit being held in Central Florida, in this case, of course, Orlando, right next to Osceola County. Uh, and of course, I want to take, take this opportunity to thank the Florida State Hispanic Chamber of Commerce for their support. But today I have a very special friend who I've known for many years, who, in fact, we met when he was running, when he ran for, for, state, for state house. And uh, at that time, uh, since I'm from Miami, uh, the U.S. Senator, Marco Rubio called me over and said, we got to do something and support uh, John Quinones. And I said, whatever I can do, I'm there. And I'm happy to say he served very well in, the, in Tallahassee, and now he's the county commissioner in, for Osceola County. Well, Luis, it's always nice to be here. Uh, this is uh, an important event to um, deal with uh, issues that relate to the, to the Puerto Rican community. Um, as you know, the area of Osceola County is probably one of the fastest growing areas in the state. And the um, uh, population in Osceola County, based on the last census, is about almost 50% Hispanic in, in, at the present moment. So um, it's certainly an honor to be here and also to to air out some of the issues that relate to the uh, Puerto Rican community. No, and that's very crucial because, you know, you serve a large Puerto Rican base, and of course, not only in Osceola County, but you did that when you were in Tallahassee because you were our representative. You know, we looked to you for direction and, we, and for support, and you were there. You always had your door open. And I remember all the meetings that you arranged with then-Governor Jeb Bush. And you said, we need to have representation from throughout the state. And I represented at that time Miami-Dade County. And I'm happy to say that uh, with your support, it made it happen. And now this summit on Puerto Rican Affairs, I think, is crucial because we're looking for common ground. We're not looking for any... Uh, you're always going to have your controversy. Cause that's part that goes with the territory. But here, we're looking for opportunities that are facing our communities. And let's talk about the challenges as well. Uh, exactly. I mean, the, the issue here is what do we have in common? Not, not, not necessarily what divides us, but what brings us to the table um, and what brings us to the table of opportunities. And I remember those days when we would meet with the governor with an agenda um, to bring out some of the issues as they pertain, for instance, in education. There were issues uh, that dealt with uh, uh, the testing and how it was done. We were able to uh, actually do a little bit of the uh, FCAT reform as a result of a lot of the uh, support that we received from you and from others in the state. And so this, those are the issues that we need to really bring to the for, forefront and see it, how we can move forward um, as a community. Thank you, and of course we look to you for your, lead, to your leadership because you're there, you know how it works, you travel the state, uh, in addition to being a successful attorney in your own right. Uh, and we honor you, and we honor you because you've, you've, you've taken this liberty to serve the community, and that's a tough, tough job, and it's challenging, so we thank you, and we thank you for your support. Thank you, Luis.